we've got here one, two, three, four, five equivalent sequels. Which do you think might be the most efficient? There are 20 of us in total, so it would be nice to have 20 answers. Right, we've got a couple of people coming in already. We've got the second, a bid for the second, and a bid for the third. Not bad, not bad. The third one, with a basic subquery, is an interesting approach. Fourth one, ah, a nice one, the fourth one, well, that's an interesting one. In some ways, I think the fourth one ought to be the most efficient, in some ways. Um, but then I look at the fifth, and I think that's pretty good as well. You need to think about why these might be efficient and why they might not be efficient. One thing, the first two, let's take them two by two. This is a basic trick question. These two here, we've got ANSI joint syntax, and then we've got Oracle native join syntax. Tiger, and have a look at these queries. I'm going to enable the auto trace facility. Set auto trace on, explain. I'll show you the syntax of this shortly, but this will just run the query and give me an execution plan. So, if I run this first query, which is the ANSI join syntax, what's Oracle doing? Right, I run the query and I get back six salesmen. Oracle's chosen a merge join. So our first execution plan, how to read it, I'll come to in a second. What Oracle is doing here, though, is doing a full scan of the primary key index on depth. It's using those index keys to retrieve the rows from depth. The end result of that, that scan will return your primary, will return the row IDs of the department table in index order, 10, 20, 30, 40 because we're scanning the index on department number, or department or depth node. That's going to give me department rows in department number order. Then we are scanning EMP, and we're sorting EMP for the purposes of a join. The plan doesn't tell you the key for the sort, but I know what the key for is. is. It's sorting EMP on department number. So these two operations, a full scan, and then retrieving rows give me departments and department order. These two operations give me employees in department order. We then merge those result sets together to get the answer we want. So we're scanning that, retrieving, in fact, only one row, because there is only one department called sales, and then merging that one row to that. That's what it's done. And it's given us a cost of six. Let's try the next query, which is the Oracle native syntax. Well, I never. Exactly the same plan. This is where my challenge was a trick question. And I really appreciated the fact that some of you had a crack at answering this. It's a trick question. Oracle has rewritten the code to the same thing. Exactly the same plan. Let's try the third one with a subquery. So in this one, what this looks like is a correlated subquery. You would expect to be scanning the EMP table, and for every row, go to department, stepped, and see if that department number is sales. A correlated subquery. There are 14 rows in EMP. That would mean running that subquery 14 times. Well, what has Oracle done? Oracle. Oops. Oracle has, in fact, been a lot cleverer than that, I hope. And guess what? It's rewritten it to the same plan. So it's beginning to look as though no matter what I do, I end up with the same execution plan. Let's try this one. I liked this one a lot. I actually thought that might come up with a different plan, but it didn't. Same thing. I've got my first subquery executed, the with clause. Then scan amp and join. And guess what? Same plan. So we can see here, Oracle can be really, really clever with rewrites. But when you come to the real world, it won't be like that. Take a look at this. Final one. Select ename from AMP where exists. Is there a matching row there? And what do we get? The same plan. So for my challenge, in fact, all of these 
produce exactly the same plan. They all produce exactly the same plan, which is an indication of how clever the optimizer really is. And that was our first look at how to find out what is Oracle doing. So, John, let's now move on. Yes. In your demonstration, is it fair to say that the plan hash value is an easy way to see if the plan is the same? Yes, it is. That's a unique identifier. Let's demonstrate a different one. I'll revert back to something we saw at the end of that slide I just put down. Remember, we have to work out what is Oracle doing and is there a better way and how could I push Oracle towards it? But what Oracle is doing is this, the merge join. It's getting departments in department number order. It's getting employees. Let's take a look at how we can influence that. I'll run the statement. It doesn't matter which formulation of the statement I mean. But say I run select ename dname from emp natural join depth. One more demonstration. We've got that plan coming up. Merge join. All 14 rows come back. 14 because I've removed the filter on dname equals sales. And that's how I did it. What if I don't like that plan? Well, one of the things Dave emphasized, how about this? Alter session set optimizer optimizer mode equals first rows. So I found out what Oracle is doing. It's doing that. Why is it doing it? Well, that's all to do with statistics on the table. Is there a better way? And how would I push Oracle towards a better way? I'm just going to change my optimizer mode. Remember, we talked about that just before break. Let's run the statement again. Now, well, I never. Totally different plan, totally different plan hash value. Because I said go for first rows, Oracle's now got a completely different plan, one based on nested loops. We'll define nested loops shortly, but what the end result of this is, a nested loop in some ways is much less efficient. Cost 17. The previous plan cost 6. So why has Oracle suddenly chosen a plan with a far higher cost? It's because I've gone to first rows. Okay. Remember the definition. The all rows mode runs a plan to completion as fast as possible. First rows get something back to the user as fast as possible. That's why we've got a plan that's using indexes. It's using a full scan of AMP, index lookup, get the row, send the row back. And that, in a nutshell, sums up how to tune SQL. You find out what Oracle is doing, you determine why it's doing it, you think, is there a better way? Push the Oracle optimizer towards it. Maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. Depends on the circumstances. So, let's move on now to our second chapter. Now, 